What do you recommend to a not that strong player for analyzing their own games, especially when the engine recommendations goes over my head? Yeah, you, have, you do have to be careful using the engine. Um, I mean, the engine will still give you kind of some feedback. It doesn't always do a great job of explaining why something should be played or why something should not be played. Um, but yeah, it, it does help to like, to analyze your games with someone, whether it be a training partner or coach. Um, I think the first step to analyzing your games is to have, have, have a system for organizing things. So if you're a tournament player or if you're an like, online player, whatever serious games you play, you should, you should save. Um, probably easiest for most people to just save them to a Lee Chess study. Like go to... Um, learn, study, rookie mistakes, thanks for the bits, make a new study, um, if you want it to be completely private, select invite only, um, and then depending on whether you're playing online, like you can import games using the game URL, if you're playing a tournament you can enter your games just on a, a new board, you can add multiple chapters, and um, I think the first step is to like to annotate your games. So rather than trying to do like deep analysis, just go through the game and like comment on what was going through your mind while you played the game. So if I, I bring in the last game I played, um, I'll copy the, the link address. Uh, oops, what did I do with the study? Here's a study. Uh, let's add a chapter paste the link address and um, flip the board so and if you're like analyzing the opening you can very easily use uh, the opening reference and um, sometimes this is this is uh, just a good start to, to see what strong players do in the openings that you play. Uh, so if we wanted to see a game, let's say from White's perspective, where White wins, let's look at Kasparov. Uh, we can insert this game within the study, so now there's a new variation containing Kasparov Shirov. And, um, oh, this is this is a Rook takes B7 game. This is actually a really famous game. I remember seeing this game at chess camp. So they played the main line of the Sveshnikov. And, oh, this is such a beautiful game. Rook takes b7. It might help to, like, find annotations, like try and find this game in a book or annotations online. But this was a positional sacrifice to play b4, and the knight was just a dead piece. And then Kasparov went on to win. Um, so, yeah, generally when I analyze my own games, I, I try and find at least, like, a a high level like grandmaster game or two to kind of use to to build up my my knowledge my arsenal of tools um but if you're going through like a middle game um you can sometimes make comments like i do this for students um on occasion where like you can use a uh, little buns here I would say knight takes c c6 is dubious. So this strengthens black's center, black's pawn center, and allows black a comfortable position after eventual d5. Um, so knight db5 is the main line. Sometimes there are studies you can find on Chess with, with annotations like this. And I think with with every game, you should have some goals, like identify some improvement on the opening, identify like the biggest blunder. And sometimes this can be used, uh, you can use the engine to, to find like the, the biggest blunders. Don't worry so much about inaccuracies. Um, so like here, I think the biggest blunder was uh, h3, which is missing 
flux threat of d4. Um, and once you find the biggest blunder, you should find kind of the, the improvement. I would say most blunders in chess are by missing uh, the opponent's threat. Or not, not like acknowledging the opponent's play. So better would be like queen e2 probably. The other way to do this, maybe for, for lazier people, um, I'll bring in the same game. And um, you can go below and do computer analysis. Um, now I know some of the analysis can go over your head, but um, if you want real quick feedback, you can do this um, like in the game analysis board too. But if you have it in a study, then you can always save and look back at it. And over time, it's nice to build up like a collection of, of your games and then like try and see tendencies throughout your games. Um, another thing I would recommend, okay, so we talked about uh, opening improvement, identify blunders. Um, at the very end, I'd recommend like comment, just like a few lessons to take away, like lesson, lessons. Um, Always identify the opponent's threat. Uh, you should sense danger when your queen is aligned with opponent's rook or bishop, for that matter, um, etc. So, yeah, if we go back to computer analysis, uh, right here you can see kind of the, the summary and the computer graph. There's a lot of features here to, to dig into. So like the one blunder was, yeah, it was h3. You can look at mistakes too. Um, bishop takes d7 was a mistake. Best move was b3. Yeah, this was probably a positional mistake. This is something that the computer like would not under or would not explain. It would be more difficult to understand. But um, with yeah, with bishop takes d7, the problem with this move is it gives away light squared bishop. So long term, black will just be more effective in controlling the light squares, and that led to the tactics later with bishop here and and d4 and. White didn't have um, his own light squared bishop to contest Black's light squared bishop. Yeah, so if if, if you look at games between between so-called noobs, then there will be lots more like kind of fluctuations. It can be fun. Like generally, a game a graph like this is uh, tells some some story, much different story than like a roller coaster game. Okay, so hopefully that was useful for uh, for some people. Definitely upload to YouTube. I was more catering this to the, the Twitch chat, but I guess I could upload this to YouTube if people found that valuable. Um, yeah, if, if YouTube people watching in the future, um, let me know what else you'd like to, to learn about these features. Maybe I'll, I'll call this video like how to analyze your own games in Lee Chess. Um, it was a quick synopsis, but, uh, but yeah, it's something I can dig into a lot deeper.